Hey guys, MDG here. Today I'm going to be unboxing something I'm very excited to get my hands on. That is the Deus by XP Metal Detectors. This right here is some groundbreaking technology. I don't know if you've checked them out online, but they're definitely worth checking out. If you haven't seen it, go to xpmetaldetectors.com. You can learn everything about this. The Deus works by using an ultra miniature electronic circuit incorporated right into the coil. You don't have a control box. XP went a whole nother route here. They made a whole full wireless detector. I mean, you got the wireless headphones as well, but the whole thing is wireless. You have a remote control that you can put anywhere. You can put it in your hand, you can attach it to your arm, you can attach it to your belt. And if you forget to bring your remote control, your interface, there's a built-in user interface on your headphones. The Deus is the first fully wireless metal detector. Everything is built right into the coil. The coil analyzes the signal and then transmits the data wirelessly to your remote control. So by the coil analyzing everything right there at the source of the target, you get a much cleaner, crisper, better quality of data transmitted back to you. Using this method of processing the target signal right at the source greatly improves data quality compared to a wire link. The Deus is great for beginners and experienced users. For the experienced user, this machine is supercharged and you have a wide variety of expert options to play with. The Deus can run in four separate frequencies, four kilohertz, eight kilohertz, 12 kilohertz, and 18 kilohertz plus shifts. Be sure to visit xpmetaldetectors.com. I'm very excited to open it up, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, you can see this box is pretty small. I mean, this is all there is to the box. The packaging is very nice. You got a slick black color here. It says Deus, made in France, XP metal detectors. See, it flaps open. Ooh, this is nice right here. I mean, this is what we have. This is what it comes in. This is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and go through this one by one here. First we have a little paper showing how to put your remote control onto the shaft. They use user's manual. This is the English version. Very in-depth manual. 58 page. Looks like it has a lot of features in here. So I'm going to put that off to the side for now. All right, we've got your bag of goodies. This contains a pouch to hit mount your remote control. Earbuds, arm strap. You got your little charger for your coil, hardware, wires, some other accessories. So we're going to have to put that off to the side and get to the good stuff. Wow. It's pretty impressive right here. Let's take this out. Wow. Guys, this thing is nice. I mean, this is it. I mean, very, very small. Look at this. You can stuff this right in the backpack. That's it. I mean, this is very impressive. This thing weighs nothing. This thing is very light. Very light. You got your stand on the back here, so you put it on the ground. Just stand right up like that. There you go. So let's go into some of these specs right here on this. All right, we got XP completely did away with the pins that are found on detector shafts. You know, you have the lower shaft, lower coil shaft. That's it right here. You got the middle shaft or the S shaft. That's this right here. You know what? The good thing about this is telescopic. Look at this. You got these little switches right here. You pull those open. Pull that one open. Pull that one open. Extend your coil shaft. Close it. Solid. Extend your upper F shaft all the way. There you go. I mean, this is... This is it. This is nice. You can adjust it to any length you want. If you go down a little further, all the way at the end here, it has some numbers at the end of the shaft here so you can figure out your perfect setting. It's got one through five. This thing has a perfect center balance. Look at this. The grip on this thing is very, very nice and I think it would be very comfortable and it looks like it's very easy to clean. It'll clean up real well. These hinges on here that operate your shaft are built real well. But I mean, look how easy it is. Just fold this thing off, shove it right in your backpack. That's it. All right, you got your arm cuff. This arm cuff also goes up a little higher here. It curves around, really nice fit. Put that back. You also have a screw in here. You can adjust your arm cuff to three separate positions, but this fits me perfect right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that. Got some nice writing on the sides. Deus wireless metal detector. Very high quality built. And this thing is strong and light. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at that. Look how simple it is. I'm closing this up. No pins to work with. Where's the pins? There's no pins. This thing is ridiculous. This isn't your normal round shaft. Simply amazing. XP outdid themselves. Let's go ahead and get into the rest of this. Next, we got a case right here. Let's open this up. Looks like your headphones. Very nice protective case to protect your headphones. Go ahead and take this out of the bag. Yeah, these are nice headphones here. Foldable, fully collapsible headphones. You see how many times those fold? Fold once over, fold them like that. Put there, stuff them right in this case like this. Now your headphones are safe, secure. So when you unfold them, and the first thing you'll notice about the headphones is one size a little bigger. This is your user interface on your headphones. If you forget the remote control at home, this will operate your machine completely. 
If you forget this at home, the remote control will operate your machine. You forget both of them at home, or well, you're not gonna operate your machine. Real low profile headphones, let's go ahead and put these on. Oh, those are comfortable, I don't even feel like they're there. Oh, that's nice. The battery's already in the headphones. Cool, slick, glossy black, it says the day use on top. You got your plus and minus button, and you got your menu here. You open up the bottom, get your USB port to plug them in to charge them. And this is nice, this is built really nicely. But you might be saying to yourself, you know, that's, that's really cool and all, but what happens if my headphones get all junky and they get all messed up and I need new headphones? What do you do then? Do you have to buy a whole new control pod? Now, nah. simply slide it off like that, connects with metal plates right here and metal pins that are very inexpensive to replace. Throw these out, get a brand new pair of headphones. When you get new ones, slide this right back on, as easy as that, and you're good to go. You got some fresh, brand new headphones at a very inexpensive cost, and you feel like you're good to go again, feel brand new again. All right, so let's get into the rest of this here. We're gonna put these back right now. Look how easily and quickly these fold down. Got one bend right there, one bend right there, and they fold in the middle, like that. It's as simple as that. Put them back in your case, like this, they're protected. Put these off to the side for now, we're gonna get into the rest of the box. All right, we got this one box here. We'll open this up, and inside we have a mobile car charger. This is your car adapter, in case you're running low, so you can charge everything while on the road. The really neat thing about this, this is a USB charger, so you don't even need to use this. This plugs right into your computer, right into the charger, plug that into your cigarette lighter, you can charge all of your equipment while on the road or on the way to your hunting spot. The other cool thing about it, the coil has its own battery, the headphones has its own battery, and the remote control has its own battery. Coil lasts 10 hours on a charge, the remote lasts 20 hours, and the headphones last 20 hours. The cool thing about this wire is you can charge all three connections off of one wire. Plug this end into your computer or your cigarette lighter in your car, plug this end into your coil, this end into your remote control, this end into your headphones. One wire, plug it all in. We're gonna have to put this off to the side right now. We're gonna get this other box. In this box we have, and this thing is really neat. Normally if you're out hunting in the field, the first battery that would go would be your coil. XP thought of this, and what are you gonna do? They developed this thing right here, an emergency battery supply using a double A battery. Put a double A battery here, close this up you got a little thing this looks like a little lighter like a little butane lighter it's got a little connection up top which is 3m jack go ahead and plug this in and you plug this end into your coil using the supplied connection for it this thing is really neat be out far and your battery might die in your coil and what are you going to do walk all the way back you might be in a good spot right now all you need is a double a battery just plug it right into your coil it's going to charge your coil you can continue hunting coil is going to get a little heavier because it's got a double a battery on it but you know what? You can go home and not detect anymore, so I think it's a small price to pay. XP also developed this LED flashlight tip that you can plug right in there, and that'll work as a flashlight out in the field too. So this thing is really neat. We're gonna put this off to the side right now. We got another box here. We're gonna get into this real quick. This is your wall charger. Same thing as before. You got your USB port and your three connections so you can charge your coil, your remote, and your headphones all at the same time. Plug it into your wall. Both connections, your cigarette lighter and your wall charger, both connect using USB. You know, you don't have to have your certain wire everywhere. You only need to carry one wire. With that said, stick this off to the side. Now we're gonna get into the really good stuff here. We've got your remote control, your user interface. This thing is really light. This thing is real nice. Let me go ahead and take this out. It's got a protective coating on the screen, and you know what? I'm gonna leave it on until that thing gets real messed up, and then I'll take it off, as most of you probably do. You take this, it's got a little notch right there, and all you do, plug that in. There you go, it's set, it's good to go. I'm sure it, it increased the weight a little bit, being, you know, it's definitely another piece of equipment going on this shaft, but you can't feel, you can't tell at all. Uh, this thing is really neat, I mean really neat. Uh, in addition to that, I'm gonna pull this off. XP supplied a leather pouch that you could connect to your hip, uh, works as a protection case. Got a real nice case here, got a clear window. Go ahead and pull this out and put our control pod in there. Fits right in, oh this is nice. It's got your hip clip, clips on just like a cell phone. You don't even need to use this at all, you got your headphones. Got a nice clear screen, pressure buttons right through. Got a nice felt padding here. This is really nice. This is your interface, this is your control box right here. But it's not a control box, it's a remote control. I'm not gonna get into things right now on it. We're gonna discuss that in other videos, but there's a lot of features, a lot of functions to it. You got a magnetic clip here, clips magnetically like that. It's a real nice case. And that's for your hip mount. We're gonna have to put that there. Now, we're gonna get into the last thing in the box, and that is your coil. This is a 22.5 centimeter coil. It already comes with a coil cover on it. 
It's definitely a bit heavier than other coils, but it's really not bad at all. This is pretty light coil. Totally wireless coil. I will be getting a bigger coil soon. I'll do a review on that. This thing is really nice. I mean, this is it. This is your control box. That's some neat piece of equipment. Like I said, it's a little bit heavier than a normal coil, but it's not too bad. Mounted on the shaft with the weight all the way at the bottom, I think you'll be able to hunt for hours and hours with this thing. Let's go ahead and put this thing together. It doesn't look like it's gonna take too long, but let's go ahead and do it. So we're gonna grab our bag of goodies we have and we're gonna dump this out and see what we have. Cover, it looks like a, a clear protective cover. Spare USB wire, so you can update your machine via the internet. You have some extra ear pads. You have your arm cuff strap. Okay, we have our mounting hardware with backups. In case something goes wrong, you break one or lose it. And we have this clip right here. This clip is used for charging your coil and plugging in your emergency battery pack. So to plug this in, you got a big side and a short side. And you got notches right here. There's only one way this thing can go in. You can't put it in the wrong way. This won't go. Put it in this way, click it right in, it's already in place. Like that, you take that, you plug your wire in, and you plug in your wall to charge it. Or you plug it into your computer. So, go ahead and take this clip off for the time being. Alright, well the assembly of this machine is um pretty much non-existent other than putting the coil on. So, we're going to go ahead and attach this coil. So, let's extend this out a little bit here. It features a one washer design with a locking nut to mount your coil. You got two spots on your coil here. You got a notch out that's nice and smooth, and a notch out that has a little pattern in there. We're going to put your washer in. The smooth side, right there. We put the coil on, we're gonna line it up like this. Next thing you wanna do, you wanna take this locking nut that they supplied, it's like a, a locking nut kind of washer. You wanna push that through on the, the rounded side, not the side that's notched out. And push that in real good like that. You wanna take your bolt, and you wanna stick it through here. You wanna take your wing nut, and you wanna screw it down. And that's on there, nice and solid. That's it guys, this is your whole machine right there. I'm gonna flip it out a little bit. Completely wireless machine. This is a very light machine. By the coil being heavier and the top being lighter, it's slapping the arm cuff right against my wrist. This is a very impressive machine. Very impressive. I mean, extend this out as far as you want. This is nice. I mean, look at this. You could take this, hold this up. This is going to fit into a backpack. If you want to put it in a duffel bag, I mean, you're going to have plenty of extra room as well. If it doesn't, you take your coil off. Nice and compact. Hold this thing with one finger. One finger. Look at that. Let's go ahead and mount the remote control on it. There it is. There's the whole machine. If you want some more information about this, visit xpmeldetectors.com. If you're looking to purchase one, hit their contact info. Tell them MDG sent you. We're going to have to turn this on real quick. Give it a quick turn on. Lights up right quick. You can see the light blinking on the coil. It's initializing. I think it blinks like 20 times. It asks me if I want sound or not. We're going to say yes. And that's it. We're just going to go ahead and shut that off. Pull the button down for a few seconds shuts right off. This thing is amazing. If you need any more information about it, you know you can send me a message. This is definitely a high-end machine. This is the day use by XP Metal Detectors. Visit xpmetaldetectors.com. Send them a message using their contact form. It's a great company, great people to get right back to you. Till then, see you next time.